All right, it's 9.01 somewhere. Welcome to the virtual Memphis Beer Fest recap nightcap. I am your host, Kevin Cerrito, also being joined uh, by Taylor James of the Madison Growler Shop, Cash Saver uh, as well. Look at it inside Cash Saver there on Madison. Taylor, what's up? What's going on, man? You doing all right? Yeah, we're doing fine. We're streaming. We are streaming uh, live on a couple things hold on and now we've got echoes we're streaming live on facebook and in uh on the mass and growler page we're on the the virtual memphis beer fest page as well as the cerrito entertainment page uh tonight uh zoom continuing to give me some trouble to get on everything but we'll we'll get that of fixed. course of course well you know hey lighting and all that gets whatever hopefully hopefully i look okay hopefully i look decent I look better than you, so that's all that really matters. But the face the Facebook's video quality is not uh, not the best. Not the best. I don't have it's yeah, it's not yeah, not not the greatest, but that's okay. So we thought we'd get together tonight. Uh, it's, we've had enough time to have and we've had enough water, right? To still 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 getting get after it. <laughs> To, to, to take a look back at the the, the virtual uh, Memphis Beer Festival, which of course took place on October the third, it's October fourteenth now. So I guess. Oh my God, that was time flies. It feels like it was yesterday, man. It, it really, it really, it really does. Like not even, not even being like, oh wow, like I can't. Believe. No, for real. Damn, it's already we're already halfway through October. Yeah, I know it would be Halloween here in a second. So the the beer that I've got displayed next to me, we will be sampling here in just a little bit it is uh the extra beer in the bag i've had a couple people ask me like well what was that extra beer what was that extra beer we didn't even try this that ipa the voodoo ranger from new belgium and so i was like oh well let's try it tonight we'll try it and talk about it here uh, on on this live stream that we've got because i figured it'd be a good time for us to get get together again and try to try to um think back and reminisce on on what went down try to try to piece together what we can remember from from that afternoon and no, no better way to do it than with this beer which was your selection right uh yeah this was this was uh one of uh two selections we had the uh bell's uh larry's latest juicy ipa for the vips on friday night and then this was the extra beer on saturday and uh you know we we uh as we were having fun saturday and enjoying ourselves and you know things maybe run over a little bit and we we were going to highlight a little bit, but you know, Hey, it's, it's like, okay, we'll just, we'll get to it another time. Um, and Hey, that's, that's this time. So, uh, so yeah, this was, yeah, one of two of my cash saver Madison growler selection choices for the fest. This was the one that everybody got on the Saturday uh, of the festival. So if you're, if you are, if you're watching the stream, we're going to check uh, comments on Facebook and stuff on the um, virtual Memphis Beer Fest page tonight. That's what I'll be looking at. But uh, so do you want to open this now or do you want to go to our guests first? And then um, let's, uh, let's, let's, we, we, we have, you know, kept him away as long as we could. Uh, we did our best to, you know, keep him in the whatever, you know, way to groove God. And, 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 but now we'll, we'll let him in. We'll let him in. He's, he is joining us now, folks. He, he could not get back in on, on Festival Saturday, but we thought we would have him here today. Yes, Clyde from Wiseacre is here, and he is uh, oh, getting ready for bed. It is late. Some of us are tired. He probably worked all day, man. He's a busy I, man. I did, I did work all day. He's, busy. he's 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 busy trying to get good beer to the good people of Memphis, man. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a arduous task. So. The we had great beer at the festival from Wiseacre Tacky uh, the day of the festival calculator the day before. Clyde, do I remember correctly? Are you saying calculator or y'all or y'all can going to continue to make calculator? What's the plan with that one? So calculator is a periodic beer that we do. It's um uh, uh it's more geared towards the colder months uh <clears throat> so this batch was kind of this send off for the the colder months uh, approaching we may do it again sometime next year uh it's not a it's not a guarantee that it comes back every year but it's awesome i love the beer and tacky is the one that, you, that gets redone every year it's fantastic yeah uh, yeah so tacky is a harvest beer so our brewers literally go pick the hops, uh, which ones we're going to do. They get harvested, flown to the brewery, 
and we use them in the beer the next day. So um, it's that that's going to happen every year. It's such a interesting and fun uh, process that we're going to continue to do that for sure. Clyde, oh, yeah. did, those, did those hops come from Oregon, Washington? I want to say that the, it, I don't know 100%, and yeah. I'll find out for you. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure they came from Michigan, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Because um, there's a lot of um, Michigan uh, hop farms, um, like, in the, I guess, the upper part of the state. Yeah. Up by, like, right. Traverse City and stuff like that. Well, that would make sense as far as, like, that, like, whatever latitude latitude is the one that goes that way that makes sense that's, right. that's kind of where you have in oregon and washington that i guess that would kind of match up with that yeah. from michigan yeah yeah i'll find out for you though um yeah. but i'm pretty sure it comes from michigan well uh, both great selections uh two very different uh beers from wiseacre over the festival so what have you what have you been up to clyde since since we last spoke you got locked out of <laughs> of the zoom live at, at the fest yeah i wasn't gonna bring that up but since you brought oh, it up, up ouch man ouch ouch hey and, man it was all kevin that's all okay look i i'm just here i am i am the uh you know I, i'm the dh i'm just showing up hey i'm here to do my thing you know he's the one controlling all the behind the scenes stuff so right. i you know i don't know, uh, I, don't no, know. I, I wanted you back in what's that I wanted you back in. The people <laughs> wanted him back in. Yeah, it, no, it's good, man. Technical things happen. Um, we so at Wiseacre specifically, uh, we are getting into what's called annual business plan. Um, so we've got some really exciting things that are going to happen after the first of the year. Some of those things I can't talk about here, um, but they are some pretty fun things that. Uh, are going to be happening with us next year. Um, you know, some of the things that I can talk about is uh, you guys will, anybody that follows us will start seeing uh, like a lot of engagement um, in terms of marketing. Uh, we have hired a, uh, a new marketing person um, that's going to be uh, primarily working with social media and things like that, but it's exciting. There's he, a there's a lot of cool rad. stuff. I, I kind of like that guy. He's pretty he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool dude. I like him a lot too. So um, I think it's going to be a great thing. Yeah, man. No, yeah, good, good, yeah. good, good hire there, man. Good hire. And there. then personally, I, I don't know if you're asking for that, but uh, personally, I uh, just made my first Carolina Reaper hot sauce, and it is fan freaking tastic. Okay. All right, give us some more information. What was the process for this? Okay, so the process is I grew the, the peppers. So that's process one, right? And it took them a long time to mature, but once they matured, I, I put them with uh, Thai hot peppers and cayenne, uh, chopped them all up, put them in apple cider vinegar with uh, one large white onion, um, five long carrots, a full bulb of uh, garlic, and a few stems of uh, celery. And then just literally uh, simmered that, rendered it down, uh, came to a, a, you know, like a nice rolling boil, if you will. And then, uh, then put it in a food processor and make it into a sauce. And it's, I mean, added a little bit of salt, but not tons. So it's not like, you know, it's not like over preservative based it's like all fresh all natural um and it'll melt your face it's so good i love that, that that's so good like that's i i would I, it would kill me. i would die i would just die i'm sure i would die it's you know, great I watch, I, I watch hot ones a lot i i like i yeah. would make it through number four i think i would just be like i'm just that's it i'm thanks it was, it's been a good time it's spicier yeah. than this Oh yeah, oh, it's got to be spicier than that, <laughs> dude. It it's spicy enough that when you smell it, you know how it's gonna taste. Yeah, yeah. that's that's when that's when my like uh, the fight or flight uh, flight. It's yeah. just fun. I'm just, I'm like, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. Can, I, I, that's that's when I hand it to the girlfriend. I just like here you go. You can try this. This is okay. probably so, so Clyde, you you've made, have you made this before? Or this is. This particular sauce, no. This is my first time making um, 
sauce with Carolina Reaper. I've done habanero. I've done uh, ghost pepper. I've done Naga Viper. Um, I love Thai Hots, my favorite pepper. Uh, I've done a Facing Heaven uh, Thai Hot sauce that was fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I love peppers, man. Peppers are like – they're awesome. Well, I have to ask you your thoughts on the Hatch Me Outside. Did you get to try Hatch Me Outside from, yeah, from Crosstown, yeah. the, the winter yeah. peppery beer? Yeah, I thought it was good. You know, a little subtle on the pepper side, but I, I, I'm not a – uh, put stuff in beer kind of guy. So like, I, I appreciated that it was subtle in there. Um, I'm more of a, I want my beer to taste like beer. Oh yeah. That's the, those, that's, those people. That's, yeah, very for sure. that's a very fair thing. Uh, and that's what? I said, but you also like some spicy stuff. So it's, it's, but it wasn't spicy enough to go on your, your radar, but no, it's not that. I think they did a great job on the beer. It's yeah, I just that's not my bag, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm I, I I like Of course. Yeah, I got not. my gra- I got well, let's put it this way. I got my growler filled up with Okanzi. And, Ooh, so good. And I yeah, I I downed that in a hurry. Also, Okan, thank you Clyde for uh figuring out exactly how to say the name of that beer. <laughs> We were just so proud. Of How do we say? Is it okay? Hey, man! Any any time you want me to just make that call, I'll make the call. Clyde, Clyde, the, the man with he, you're you just you have all the answers. It doesn't matter what brewery, what beer. It, 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 now it doesn't even matter if it's beer. It could be food. It could be peppers. I'm I'm calling you. I'm just gonna call you and ask you. You know, I got something to start. Hey, Clyde. Uh, just wondering, what are your thoughts? Because you're gonna have the answer. You're the man. You're the man with the answer. Kevin, I'm gonna open this beer. Yeah, we that's I know we just we went straight to Clyde. Uh, and have you have you had a chance to try this one, Clyde? From new, so this is where no, we're trying. I have not, I have not tried that. Hang on, let me see if I you have it in your, your fridge here. This is, of course, from the beer festival. We're gonna get a tour of Clyde's house here. Yeah, it's well, it's dark right now. It's rem- reminiscent of the Grind hey, City Brewery down. tour that we had during the festival. Yeah, a <laughs> yeah, uh, tour of uh, inside Clyde's house. The um, only, you know what? I don't have that one. It may be at work. I had my bag at work, and I had those out in case other people wanted to try them with me. Uh, grab so a wise acre. What's that? Grab a wise acre out of the fridge if you want to join us. Oh, I already, ha- I already have a tiny bomb port. Come on now. Oh yeah, tiny bomb. <laughs> bro, 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 beer bin port. <laughs> there you go. There's a cheers for you. There we go. There we go. All right, let's. Uh... Let's see. Let's see what this thing looks like. So new. So uh, Taylor, if you want to talk about this one, hopefully uh, Clyde, you'll get to try it because it's not. You've not had it before because it's new to the market. But it's. It also seems to remind me, Taylor, is it something like can we can we connect this to Tacky where they like play with this beer every year or is this what do they um, do? No, not. I, I mean, as not not exactly. This is more so. Um, this is uh, and. Because I'm, I'm, this is with Eagle Stone Cloud. I'm sure you've seen some of this stuff. So this is part of that Voodoo Ranger series with that New Belgium's been doing, and they've really taken that. And, and that is, I don't want to, I don't want to call it a separate brand, but it it somewhat is. It does have like its own Instagram. And oh wow, so the beer yeah, has its own it Instagram. Yeah. So the Voodoo Ranger series. This is um, a, a lot of their uh, a, a lot of the IPAs, and so this one is a rotating IPA that they do. Uh, some that you may have seen in the market, like 1985, uh, American Haze, there were a couple of ads. So this is just the next in line of their rotating IPA series that they kind of bring up through the year. And each one is um, is somewhat unique to the last one. If you remember, uh, Yazoo used to do Hot Project, where it was a different IPA every single batch. This is it's kind of that idea. It's just a rotating skew uh, that they do. Um, is a ha- This one is a hazy IPA. And as you, you, know, you can see it in the glass right there. Uh, Cannot see through that one. A uh, little bit more cloudy than like the, the Larry's latest that we had, um, but uh, but but still like not. Clyde, what's the word I'm looking for? Like when the hazy IPAs get like like cloudy, but like more so than cloudy, they're like I don't know. It just it look it doesn't look ap- it lo- doesn't look like something I want to drink sometimes. Where it gets <laughs> yeah. real, real heavy. Yeah, and it just looks like orange paste. Yes, yes. It's like they sometimes the hazy get like that. This is like if I'm gonna drink a hazy IPA, this is what I want it to. This is about. so it's the show me show it getting closer to the camera, Taylor, because I'm drinking it straight from the can. 
on display. Okay, so it's okay. I see. What, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, what can or we? Or you could drink a tiny bomb, and it's clear. Or you could. Or you could. And if if this, I, I would be. More I'm just going to put that out there. Bomb. Well, 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 Taylor, what is it? What do you have to say about? Both of your selections, the two Madison Growler and Bottle Shop selections were both IPAs. They Is were, they were, and, and they were both, and they, they were both hazy IPAs. I mean that, you know, if um, I, I'm with, I'm with Clyde in that, like, I do want, I have, me personally, I've been drinking a lot of Pilsners, a lot of lagers, just like good, clean, delicious, clear beer. Um, but Hazy IPAs are, uh, you know, that is a, a huge trend right now. Um, I spent a little bit of time away and uh, caught, what is that? Oh, Jesus. He's got some drums, yeah. Cool house, man. What the hell? I got like, what? I got like bookcases without any books on it. And you got this like <laughs> drum set and guitars and amps and like, man, it's really cool. Um, but no, I mean, Hazy IPAs are, like I said, they're just, they're trending right now. And these were just a couple of, that, that we wanted to feature uh, here. They're, the Hazy IPA trend is somewhat here, I would say, Clyde, but not here like it is in some other cities. Would that it's be getting here. It's getting there. But it's, it's getting, getting there. there. It's getting there, though. I mean, um, almost every single brewery in town is doing a Hazy, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the, so. the trend has arrived uh, definitely at the virtual memphis beer fest uh well, so this is so this is a series it's like its own brand that can be spun off is there anything like that in memphis do we have something where like it's i know we don't have a beer that has its own instagram uh separate hey, from the I, parent brand but what about voice what yeah i'm actually glad you asked that we do a and i'm gonna you know uh shameless plug here we do a series that's called Memfresh. It is oh, all it's yes. all experimental IPAs. It doesn't mean that they're all going to be hazy, but they're all experimental IPAs. Uh, it's it's anchored by Adjective Animal, which is our double IPA, and uh, we've done a beer called Xanadu, which was a a hazy seven percent. It was really good, um, and then we uh, just got done doing a beer called Flimber. And that's a word that melds uh, flexible and limber together. Um, and it's, uh, it actually has like kind of a peppery finish because of the hops. Really interesting. Um, but that series is kind of, like, if you look at New Belgium, Voodoo Ranger, and then the Voodoo Ranger series, you could kind of understand what we're going for in the Memfresh. It's all going to be experimental IPAs, all super good. And you can find them anywhere in uh, in the city. Yeah, no, I, no, that's a that, no, that's a that's a great comparison. I yeah, that that is definitely what what both uh, your brewery and New Belgium going for. Uh, okay, you know we want to we want to try things. We want to do different things. Okay, great. So like for me as a, as yeah, a retailer, it's great because I have one UPC that's in my system that, and so there you're not having to constantly submit new new paperwork, whatever it is, boom, it's the same thing every time. So I get to offer four or five different beers throughout the year with just a little bit of work rather than trying to constantly figure out yep. what a new item code is or whatever. So it makes it, on re, for retailers, it makes it a lot easier on me um, there. This one, I the, it's, it's eight and a half percent. There's a little bit of like, there's a little bit of a, a bite to it, like a little bit of an alcoholic bite to it. That's a little. Oh, eight, eight and a half percent. That's up awesome. The, uh, I, now, now I really want it. Now I want to drive back down to the brewery and grab it. <laughs> and I will, I will say, I mean, you're definitely getting those fruit notes. You're getting a lot of like mango and pineapple, but there, there is a, a little bit more bitterness in this hazy IPA than 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 in some. I mean, I, it's still an IPA. Like this is still very much an IPA. This isn't some weird like juice thing going on. Like there's, yeah. there, there's still some really good bitterness and. Like I said, just that little bit of that kind of heat right at the end. That is, man, that, I mean, New Belgium makes great beer. I mean, that's. Yeah, um, <laughs> and that's usually my favorites of the hazies is when they they kind of meld the worlds of hazy and traditional IPAs together. That's yeah. enjoyable for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree. Yeah. So, uh, so great, Taylor, great me. Great. Taylor one, yeah. of, one of the things you'd be somewhat proud of me 
uh, this last weekend, I finally got my elbow done. <laughs> yep. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I get, yeah, they're, they are, um, God, they are, yeah, they're, they're, they're fun, man. They're, they're fun. That was, it, it was, uh, it got my attention. Yeah, sure. yeah, no, no, no. You, uh, as as when I'm getting tattooed, Brent will just be like, you know, how's it going? I'm like, I'm okay. He's like, it, uh, feels like you're getting tattooed. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Yep, you're you're you you hit it on the head. <laughs> but yeah, I, and you have, I mean, you have quite a few tattoos. Is, is your aunt, my answer when someone's like, oh, did those hurt? My answer's always like, yes, they all hurt. Which one hurt the least? No, they all hurt. Some just they, hurt worse than others. They're all they're all yeah, they all hurt. It's not. It's not fun, Kevin. Do you have any yeah. tattoos? None. Mm -mm. I should start with the elbow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Get it out of the way. Yeah, just do it. Just, just do. Just do something that. Right, just get, get the ditch uh, of your elbow and get your, <laughs> just get it all done now. Yeah, that's fine. And then, and then work on your ribs. That'll be a great idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The. <laughs> All right, hey, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about the fest for a minute. It's supposed to be our our, oh, yeah, our recap so. nightcap. Uh, Clyde, do you have what were your reactions to this festival? First time ever, you know, having a, a virtual beer festival. Yeah, um, so it it was my second time presenting at a virtual event. Virtual event, um, <clears throat> not a virtual beer festival, but a virtual event. Um, I the i'll say the the pros first i would say the interaction with your participants was awesome right so being able to have those uh questions coming in while you're interviewing me or whoever the other brewery is um that was really cool right because it gives um taylor uh taylor and i had a conversation about this uh, taylor i hope you don't mind me uh, talking about it, but uh, we had a conversation about this right before the festival. And one of the things that I think is very unique about it is everybody got almost a one-on-one -on -one with every brewery, right? So they, they tried a beer and they're talking to the brewery at that point when they're trying the beer. Whereas if in a traditional festival, you have 60 different tables and they they may or may not ever come to your table right so this was like a really cool way to connect on a different level so i think in in, in terms of pros that that would be number one um number two is i think that it was cool uh to have the the brewery present their beer without like scripts and things like that so, like, I, you know, I listen to some of the other uh, breweries as well. And it, it's just, to me, when it comes from the heart, when it comes directly from uh, someone that works for that brewery, uh, people listen. And they listen at a little bit different level than if it's just read off a chart or read off of, like, you know, hey, here's my sign. Read what's, what's on the beer. So I thought that was really cool, too, you know. Um, I would say for the cons, um, you know, it's really goofy when I get kicked out of a room, man. That's really <laughs> weird. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, technical oh, get them, Clyde. Let them know. <laughs> so, Te technical difficulties can happen. It, you know, I got on the chat. I was still able to engage with your audience. So, uh, I'm fine with all that. And Brian and Christina, or uh, Katrina, came through and uh, got on the uh, the thing. So, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, no, I was so, I'm like I'm like waiting for you. I'm like, all right, Clyde, Clyde's gonna get this. Clyde's gonna figure this out. <laughs> and then just boom. It wasn't me, dude. Like, it wasn't me. Okay. Sounds it was. Good. It was not him. It wasn't. It was some. Te well, it was partially your fault, but partially. Um, it said I was removed by the host, yeah. and I could not get back in. I removed How was that you. My fault. It was. A, it was a Zoom user error, but. Anytime somebody was just hanging, like you were off and like not off, and it's like, where's Clyde going? His time is up. We're gonna, we gotta keep moving. You're still there, so I dropped you off just just because of your lack of speed to get off of the Zoom. That's wow. my fault. Yeah. I, Ed, I removed you. So because I wanted to hang out with your attendees as long <laughs> as possible, it's my fault. Okay, I am. Really I am not. Um, 
you know, Kevin and I are like working on this together. I know it says Sweet Entertainment and Madison Drive. I, Cla- I, Cla- <laughs> uh, I, I do not. Uh, the, the feelings uh, of Kevin Cerrito do not reflect those of uh, uh, Taylor James and Madison Drive. I. W- Trust me, I wanted you back in that room, though. So, like, where, wherever the blame goes, that's where uh, I wanted you uh, back. That's why, why, why we got him here tonight, right? We're, we're, that's we're, why you're here. That's why you're here. The people wanted you back. Odd time. It's, it's all good, man. I'm just kidding with you. So, yeah, yeah no, I had a great time. I thought, that, I thought it was well done. I, I, I appreciated the beer selection. You know, Taylor and I have talked through that a little bit and got two very unique beers for people to try. So, I thought it was awesome. Well, yeah, we appreciate it. I want to be involved in the next one. Yeah, the next one. So, yeah, I mean, I, you know, Clyde, do you think even if, you know, if, you know and hopefully, I mean, you know, uh, hopefully all goes well and, you know, we start getting a handle on everything going on and, and things kind of start opening up. I mean, do you, do you think, do you think this could happen again? Would you think we could still do this, say, springtime? I mean, do you think it could work again? <clears throat> oh yeah yeah Even uh, talk, you, yeah yeah i mean you're, are you saying a virtual event in the spring yeah yeah doing it yeah, yeah totally doing it i you know i think the new i think because people are forced to use these communication tools there will be creative and fun things coming out of having to use the tools so if one of those is periodically you have a virtual beer fest i think that's awesome yeah and you we're and, 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 and Clyde, i do want to you know you know you've got your uh stuff that, you know you, you don't want to share just yet I, i've got some stuff too that I, I i would actually i i think i would like to run by you and get you know obviously get your thoughts and feedback because yeah i think i definitely think that like I, I think kevin and i doing this and kevin and i've been talking a ton and I, I think that there is kind of something more that we can do with this other than just a one-off virtual beer fest. Like, yes, it was great, but I, I do think there's a lot more that we can do. And, you know, my, my goal for this beer fest was to really highlight you guys, the, the local breweries, and giving you, like you said, that one-on-one time to talk with your, with the people, with the consumers, you know, who's, who's drinking the beer, who's buying the beer. And I do think that there's a lot better, like, uh, I think there's, there, there's, there's different ways and better ways that we can help connect you guys with people um using kind of this format so I've, i'm looking forward to some I, I think there's some fun stuff we can do in the future yeah um yeah i think that there uh, you you can always do it by themes right uh you know as the seasons turn uh it's it, it'd be cool to talk about like in the late spring early summer talk about saisons and what does saison mean to the beer community and maybe have have something driven by styles and then maybe other things driven by um, hallowed beers, you know, like a big thing that happened last year that I, I was super down with was uh, flagship February. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, I think that that's great. It, you, you know, we, we, we spend a lot of time in exploration of our drinking and once in a while, when you just crack open a Dale's pale ale, or you crack open a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale or a, or a yeah. Founders Dirty Bastard. It's like, holy smokes, I, this beer is awesome. And I'm, I love to drink it again. So, you know, that, that could be something that uh, eventually could be a lot of fun, too, is like a flagship event where you get, you get those, like, let's say you do 10 breweries, you have their number one beer. What is it that they hang their hat on? as being the thing. And even if somebody has tried it, I would be hip to hearing the story behind that beer. And yeah. the, the story, like how did it get developed? Why did they choose that style as their flagship over something else? Yeah. Was it all sales driven or was, it, was there a vision there and they pushed through uh, to make that their flagship? I mean, I would love to hear that story, you know? Yeah. Kevin, Kevin, are you taking notes? I am taking. I'm taking notes. Very interesting idea. So, fl- so flagship, flagship February was that for the first time last year, or is this something that's been going um, on, or what? You know, I think it. I can't remember the first year that flagship February happened. I feel like, but, I feel like it had happened once before, but not not to the extent that it was last year. Last year, man, it it came out of the woodwork. It was awesome. Like almost all of the the places that usually 
don't have flagships on, they put a flagship on for that that month, like at a restaurant or whatever. So it was it was really neat. I really enjoyed it. So uh, Wiseacre's flagship would be Tiny Bomb. Oh yeah. Cool. And oh, okay, okay. I I I would say, Clyde. Yeah, there's I, there's an is there an argument among anyone about between Tiny Bomb and Ananda, or is it? Like at the brewery, is it, no. is everybody, does everyone know it's Tiny Bomb or are there some Ananda? Tiny, Tiny Bomb. Okay. I, yep. I mean, my go-to is Ananda, but I would say Tiny Bomb is because of the awards, uh, the, the accolades that that beer has, has, has accumulated. And, and First just the, year. First yeah. year it was a beer. That's what's so yeah. impressive to me about that beer, by the way. Yeah. And so, the first year that beer is available and it got bronze. What, uh, I know Pivo got like silver. Did Pivo get silver that year? Uh, from Firestone Walker, like that. Yeah, I'd, that have was ahead. Look, I'd have to look into that. I the two, what, whatever it was, people and some of them, the two, the two pilsners that beat Tiny Bomb, I mean, beat. You know, you're number three amongst thousands, but like, are two pilsners that people consider like the best pilsners in the country. So it's just like right. unbelievable that your first year you're able to knock that out of the park. And um, yeah, I, I do think getting people try flagship. It's why we did Ghost River Gold in there. I mean, not just with the label. I mean, yes, that was you know one of the big reason, but as Kevin and I were kind of talking about kind of what we wanted, I wanted a beer that people had had before, but maybe yeah. hadn't had it in a while. And like, go yeah. revisit it, go try it again, because I think yeah. you're going to have a different, possibly a different experience with it. And go, oh, actually, that, yeah, actually, oh, I really like that beer. I hadn't, but you hadn't bought it because you were like, ah, I've had it. Right. It's so All good. Right. It really was. Uh, the Ghost River Gold ended up being one of my favorite takeaways from the festivals. Like, I've got to make sure that I, I, I have that more often. All right, Taylor, speed round. You ready? Flagships. Let's go. We're uh, Memphis made. Fireside. Yeah, I, I, you, can't, you can't argue that. Uh, Grind City. Uh, Godhopper. Is it? Is that over the lager? We don't know yet. They're so new. They're so um, new. I, I, that, that's but that's going to be my guess. That's going to be my say. And Bill Street, it's got to be. Yeah, it's Space Age. Easy. Got to be Space Age right now, right? So we've so far we've had, kind of had at least two of the flagships at, at the recent festival. All right, High Cotton. Uh, Scottish. Scottish. Definitely, definitely Scottish. Yeah. Got to be the Scottish. Yeah, got to be the Scottish. Uh, Crosstown. This is a tougher one. Right? Uh, traffic. Traffic. Traffic over yeah. siren. Traffic, yeah, definitely traffic over time. Um, we've done Wiseacre. Uh, we've got um, Meddlesome. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's 201, obviously. It's I mean, not ju- and not just because that's the only one in Kansas. That was the flagship when it was draft only. So it's it's definitely 201. Were they, they're, yeah. they're toying with other other cans. They right? are. They are. They are. And I think that's something we'll probably talk about in a few weeks. But, yeah, there, there are some other cans coming out from uh, – Here's here's metal. here's an interesting Bosco. It's got to be. I know oh, what it is. It's got to be flames. Would, would that be the Tennessee Scottish Ale? I mean, see, Clyde's got to do. I think Flaming Stone. With me and Taylor went to that, but I, even though I order Midtown Brown more often yeah, than not. I know that Clyde. That's a good point. I ooh, oh, Midtown. Hmm. I. Mm. My 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 guess would be Flaming Stone. I would like to confirm what it actually is. That that would be my uh, guess. I will say the I, I don't remember the name of it the the Bosco's beer that was in my packet, but that was awesome. Tiger Smash, that was great. Yeah, cool, dude. That dude. That the eight ounce like or aluminum. Yeah, bottle. yeah. I thought that was awesome, dude. That was a cool package. I just yeah. from a, from a, like nerdy like you know a retailer and like package like branding and stuff. The package was awesome. I was like, this is such a great little look at this thing. Yeah, um, yeah, that was cool. They blame that thing. Um, well, who, who who didn't you ask me about? Who didn't you ask me about? I think that, that I think that was all of them because we already talked Wiseacre. Was that all eight? Is that all of them? Wait, Wiseacre and Ghost River. We, yeah, we had already talked about. I got across town. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that's uh, it. Those are the or all 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 nine breweries. Um, all right, before we f- wrap this up, Clyde, are you ready to take the survey? So we got a survey up if you're watching. We do have a survey you should fill out if you went to the festival. These are the survey questions. Uh, if you went to the festival, you have it in your email. I'm going to see how Clyde answers these questions. Uh, Taylor, you as well. So here are our survey questions. We'll wrap up with this here. Uh, how did you, 
Clyde, are you ready? How did you first hear about the virtual Memphis Beer Festival? Was it uh, on a Cerrito Entertainment live stream, the Jeff Calkins show, Daily Memphian, the Memphis Business Journal, the I Love Memphis blog, social media, a friend or family member, or other? How did you first hear about it? Uh, I would say other. Other? Yeah. I, I, if I remember correctly, I was Kellen. notified about it from Kellen, who's one of our owners. So I would call that other. <laughs> uh, like I, I heard it. I heard it from um, a, a referral from a friend. Yeah, Kevin Cerrito. <laughs> we got how how likely? Or I don't know the answer is how likely would you attend another virtual beer festival? Uh, what is the what is the the gauge? One uh, to five. You, yeah. one highly, to likely, five. highly likely. Highly likely. Likely or not likely? Highly likely. I would attend another one. Highly likely. Um, I can get I can get toe up from the flow up at home and still have a good time. Uh, I would say unlikely because I'll probably have to be running the thing. So I won't <laughs> be um, but if I was a if I was a consumer, I, I think I would I think I would highly likely. Clyde, how likely is it that you would recommend this event to a friend? Highly likely, likely or not likely? Highly likely. Highly likely. I, I like I like <laughs> being successful, so yeah. Highly. What did you think of the beverage variety? Did you love it? Like it? Did you think it was fair or not enough variety? I th man, that's a really tough question, um, and I'm not I'm not dodging the question. It's just a really tough question because in a beer fest, what is your expectation, right? If your expectation is variety, I think we got it, right? Mm -hmm. You had a lot of unique, different styles of beers. So if that's my expectation, which usually is in a festival, then I would say you did a good job. I think if it was a pinpointed festival, then my answer would be different. But I think with this particular format, I think you did a good job. Well, I think, uh, you know, one of the things we did a good job of was not just not loading it up with IPAs, because I, I think that's an easy thing that can happen. Right, right. Every brewery has an IPA that they're very proud of. Um, and, and, you know, and, and like you said, with like the Memfresh series as you're rotating IPA series, like it's fairly easy to make like a, a new IPA that's something fun because you can mess around with the hops and when you're driving, there's a lot of easy things to change with that beer to present a brand new delicious beer. And I, that was one of the things I think we did I, that I personally wanted to avoid the like all hoppy, all IPA kind of thing. And, and I do, I, I, I do think we did. I think we did a pretty good job there. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, and, and like, like sure. I said, I think the expectation for a festival is experimenting with beer, like the traditional thing. So I think you did, you guys did a great job. The, I'm an IPA fan, and I, yeah, that's definitely was concerned going into it because we really, Clyde, as you know, I mean, we we talked with you guys, but really, it was up to the breweries to to decide and figure out what fit in the schedule that they could can in time for the festival. So, it's not like we were saying, hey, we've got too many of this. Can somebody do that? And uh, I think it turned out to be pretty good. I enjoyed the variety uh, for sure. I mean, we had a seltzer on there. I mean, come on. Um, let's see. Select all the entertainment that you enjoyed. Um, there's a lot uh, of minutes. So I, uh, so in full disclosure, I was not on with the opera. Um, so I did not hear the opera. I had heard great things about it, but I didn't hear it. Um, I heard the guy that came on right after me, uh, on one of the things he, he did like a guitar. Uh, uh, Jeff sorry. Jeff Hewlett, that uh, was who came on right after you. Oh, yeah, oh I, no, are you talking about VIP? No, he's talking about John Paul Key. Oh, he's talking about oh, oh, he's talking yeah, about Because yes. Clyde right. was a two nighter, yeah. Right, right, yeah, he was. Yeah, right. yeah. I thought, I thought that that guy was awesome. I, I, I listened to that for a, a quite a bit, um, and I thought it was great. So I can't speak to the opera though, which, you know, if you put a little bit of heavy guitar and drums behind opera, it's like '80s metal. So I'm into that. Well, will you uh, perform, Clyde? Will you perform at the next? If we have a festival again, will you perform in it? Only if you're playing speed metal, thrash metal, or well, you're metal. playing it. You're in. Oh, I know. No, Clyde's gonna play it. Yeah, no, Clyde, you're in. You're good. Yeah, okay. I mean, like you said, if I'm playing it, like we want you to play, Clyde. That'd be you'd perform. Well, I've been all right. So 
I've been trying to get a Wiseacre band together. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but we've got like three drummers at Wiseacre, a couple of guitar <laughs> players. I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe I'm down. I, 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 I can't I promise back. anything. I can't I promise anything. That. I would like that. Um, and maybe a one-man opera, band. The opera was – what was so cool, and, and my, my dad had mentioned this. Uh, he was uh, watching the stream and drinking along with us and stuff was – I mean, obviously, their their singing ability was unbelievable, but their how they got to which song they wanted to sing and which character they wanted to pick by trying each beer and feeling like yes, I this this is the character that I'm getting from this beer was so unique because I mean we we try beer and it's like you know it can be very simple it's good or bad and then if we mm -hmm. want to get into it a little bit more okay I'm getting these hot okay and we can get a little but to drink a beer and like. You know what? I'm feeling this for, that this character when she sang this song. I'm like, that's awesome. That is such a unique um, way of looking at a beer that I, I or you, we don't have that because we're not yeah. audio. But to like right. have that is fascinating to me. So that was that was so cool to me uh, that they that they did that. So yeah, uh, shout out to Opera Memphis for that. That was awesome. Yeah, that, uh, that that it was it was it was such a surprise uh, that as far as like when they were talk and then all of a sudden they just all of a, they were boom they're singing like the, a, a professional like opera singer is like right here like you forgot for a second I was like talking to them and they're like oh the spear is great it's like yeah these people are cool and then whoa whoa you're so but, talented as well but nothing I mean nothing will be eight ball and MJG and and the whole you have to take the whole thing it's because it's not just the toast. It was the how we got to the toast. It was the whole 20 what? minute process, whatever it was. It was, doesn't like exactly 30 minutes. Like it was planned. Like it they really had a 30 was. minute block. But one of the, the funniest, coolest, weirdest things I have ever been a part of. The, which if you if you attended the festival you know that link is still live you can go back and you can go back and, and watch so we had that but still the getting the most votes in this category right now is the live tasting with brewers uh that is uh definitely a memorable moment clyde in part uh, of course because of uh, your contributions um all right here's something clyde we have two questions left uh if you yeah. could what would you change about the festival uh i would just change up the theme right like you, all right so we've done the traditional theme change it up and do something else uh, a seasonal theme or something like that keep it fresh you know so you've, you've kind of given some of your ideas uh is there any other feedback you'd like to share it's the last question um don't kick me out of the room again <laughs> so <laughs> I'm hammer him, I'm Claude. I'm hammer him. yes i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> oh no man uh, no, I, man, I, again, I, I appreciate you guys having us a part of it. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, we can't wait to do it again. Awesome. People keep saying that. People say, keep it, saying. What's that? It's gonna I'm, look, I'm, just, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's, 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 it's going to be fun. We're, we're going we're gonna to take this. We're going to run with it. We're going to have ourselves a good time. Uh, okay. I'd, like to, I'd, I'd like to do one non-alcoholic uh, uh, thing next, next time. You know, we do we do a cold brew coffee that is unfreaking believable. This is and true. I think that could be a good way for people that are experimenting to give it a try. I I I think uh, yeah that that would fit. That would definitely fit. I've been talking to people like that. The seltzer being there brought in some folks who like are not necessarily beer drinkers either. So the cold brew coffee yeah. I've had it is it is it is very good. Um, are y'all upping the production of that because of the, the new facility or what's, what's the plan? Yeah. I mean, we're ready to, to push the gas on that, uh, whenever we, uh, need to. So, uh, right now we're just building the brand. So, uh, we've got it into some key retailers and, um, you know, it's over at Madison Growler and, um, Hey, we you don't have it at high point. Do you, you don't have we it. Need, at high point. I, we need it at high point. Okay. I, I, I I've got, they would love it. How we can put it. So let's do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, you know, it, it's a, it's around town. Uh, we're just kind of slowly building the, the uh, brand, and uh, once we get it really firing, we'll be able to up production and, as much as we want. And that's Clyde. That's the same. It's the same. It's uh, Metropolis, right? Yeah, it's the same. It's uh, same. It's got to get up. It's the same roaster that we use right. for got to get up. It's not the same coffee. 
right, right, right. Yeah, it's like a it's like a Colombian, um, uh, Costa Rican blend. I, I believe I can. That may not be one hundred percent correct, but I can figure that out. <laughs> it is. I, 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 I've not, had it. It's a like guru. So yeah. awesome We're, can design too. The can design on it's yeah. red. Did Rachel do that can? Yeah. Killer. Just absolutely killer. He's done all of them, but one except the the one. That we talked about on the fest, and that was what was uh, it? That was a good special a good trivia question. Special, yeah, special. There we go. Jeez, that well, would be a good trivia question. The yeah. no, right. special. All right. Um, no, that's a good idea. Where would you fit the coffee in the lineup? If we had like this lineup, like where you put a, where you put the coffee? You just do. You, do we do uh, a live tasting of it at the end? At at the beginning? Uh, is is it, there is there something you could like use it to palate cleanse with? You know what I mean? Like would it? Um, maybe. I, I don't know. I, it, like, I, it depends on what the other items right. are in the festival, right? Yeah. So I would think bookending the festival with something like that makes sense. But I mean, you you kind of have to you understand the, big the lineup. Picture. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's it is some good. Uh, coffee Taylor any other any other thoughts here as we wrap up virtual uh, Memphis beer festival 2020 oh man I, I, I had a great time you know doing it working with you know you working with um, my my friends at, at the at our local breweries and uh, our Garrett uh, Garrett hi Garrett uh, working with Eagle uh, as well uh, Eagle was uh, Eagle distributing uh, was a huge help in this and getting uh, getting some things coordinated, uh, uh, especially for Friday night and getting that all put together. Uh, There's a blast from the really past. Really fun experience. I've uh, oh, that's a great movie it's with Jennifer Lawrence. That is a great blast. Um, I'm also I'm stoked about my uh, account I had when I was selling beer up in D.C. Uh, I had this cool glass I'm stoked on that. But anyway, um, but no, I mean it was uh, I've never been a part I, I i've only attended beer fests um cooper young beer fest is my favorite one and i'm so sad that it wasn't going to happen and for me to be able to put one on in the you know in, in october with all, everything else going on and everybody just like frustrated with a number of things you could pick one right um it was just awesome to be able to offer that to people and have people come experience it and you know, for those of you that did, thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for trusting us um, to put something on that entertained you, and hopefully you're entertained. And um, I, I think that I think that the future of this kind of what I am envisioning this being uh, is brown. So, cheers to that. The uh, yeah, and special thanks to like not all, special thanks to you, Taylor, for helping make this um idea uh come to life here because we could not have done it without Ma the madison growler shop and and, and cash saver and, and your support and uh, of course hard, hard hard to do a beer fest without uh beer hard to do it hard to do it. <laughs> and, and, and thanks to uh, you know, thanks to my wife who may or may not be watching right now but like she's the one i came up with the idea and she's like you got you got to do that you can do it and i'm like i know i can sometimes i get in these situations like you got like like if i don't do it nobody's gonna do it so i was like well i mean i can do it but i just gotta talk to taylor first because there's no other way we can we can pull this off and uh, the sponsors like smoothie king uh jack purtle's uh fried chicken which we all now have a jack purtle koozie how memphis is this when you're you're uh, enjoying your beverages is. Um, and as you mentioned, Eagle Distributing uh, and com coming in for the uh, for the VIP with Crosstown uh, Brewing Company, uh, slapping their logo on stuff and really uh, coming through. So that was that was awesome uh, for them. Eagle also distributes Wiseacre, right, Clyde? That's right. Yeah, Eagle is a great company, man. We we enjoy working with them. Uh, we work with them really closely, and a lot of the things that we do. So uh, it's it's great. You know, our business. The beer business, for those that you don't know, uh, the beer business is set up in like, you know, three tiers and uh, we're partners together, which is awesome. And so when they succeed, we succeed. When we succeed, they succeed. So it's it's really cool. The, yeah, so continue to follow the beer festival at Memphis Beer Fest on social media. 
I can't tell you for sure if there's going to be another one of these things, but we've been joking throughout the festival, and 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 Clyde's acting like it's happening. I don't know, Clyde's <laughs> got some great ideas. Uh, I'm okay. in. Uh, I'm I in. Mean, if Clyde's in. Okay, that, that's all. We'll, we'll run with it. Go, there. go with with the with the sequel on it. Um, but yeah, I know we've got some fun stuff planned in between. If there is another festival, Kevin, Kevin, uh, should we tell should we tell the people what we're doing next Wednesday? Yeah, let's talk about what we're going to do. Hey, Clyde. Hey, Clyde, I got something exciting uh, to share. So, Okay. Um, so uh, uh, a few years ago, five years ago um, is when um, uh, Garrett and I kind of first started becoming friends. And uh, we became friends because we were working on uh, kind of a show together. And it was a beer show. And it was highlighting various things. And it was in video format. It was awesome. We only did a couple episodes, though, because life happens. And, you know, I start doing the store more and whatever and and this whole experience of the beer fest has kind of spurred this interest of wanting to talk beer more because i uh I, if you don't know I, I came back to the company i'm not just their beer guy anymore i'm our vice president of sales essentially learning how to run the business from my dad so i can tell him to retire one day which is exciting but i still want to talk about beer and i need this like i need this beer time i, want, I still want to do that so uh we are reviving uh, my beer show uh, called Hopular Mechanics. Ooh, and, uh, nice! Uh, Kevin and I uh, are gonna we uh, we are the we are the co-hosts of it, um, and it's nice. Uh, each week we will uh, we'll, we'll drink a beer, talk about it. Uh, we'll have a guest on. Uh, Clyde, you'll be on again. I can tell you that. You um, can always do it live in Bartlett at the house. I mean, hey, I'm always down for I'm always, I'm always down for a quick uh, quick little road trip over to Bartlett, um, you know. And for us to really not just talk about you know uh, the specific beer that we're drinking, but if we have somebody from a brewery, let's talk about what the brewery's doing, different things going on with them. Uh, we can talk about stuff going on in Memphis, whether it's beer or restaurant food related. You know, what have you been eating lately? Um, one of my one of the segments we had on there, and it's it was one of my favorites was. Uh, what's your white whale? Uh, you know, a beer that you always wanted to try, but never been able to get your hands on because I, I think that, uh, you know, we'll tell you a lot about a person, you know, what they're, what they're trying to go for. So um, uh, I'm excited. Kevin kind of threw the idea out of continuing doing something. And uh, I think it's a great idea. And I want to still talk about beer. And again, a chance to highlight y'all, uh, you know, the local breweries and what you're doing Um uh, and really connect with people and so uh starting next wednesday we'll be we'll be doing this we'll be doing this right here this is what we'll this is what we'll be doing so what's your white whale so i'm just gonna reveal it right now well before so and it was funny because so we did we did like three episodes so i had to come up with like three i haven't had before right now i will say one of them one of them was um Hanifa from cigar city um I did finally get to try that one um, when I was working for Ballast Point in Nashville. Um, that was at 12 South Winter Warmer, and I finally got to try that. But as far as one I haven't gotten to try yet, so I've, I've had, weirdly enough, I've, or no, 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 we tried, we tried, yeah, we tried, and, and this is such a, a generic answer for this, but I've tried Pliny the Elder. I've had it. I just want to try Pliny the Younger so I can say I've had it. I want to be able to, to, you know, have that experience because that means for me to try it, that means I have to go out to California and I got to go to the breweries, which is like, <laughs> oh no, got to go to Russian River and try beer. So hopefully one of these days we get to travel again and go places and do things, uh, which I've forgotten what that's like. Uh, but that would be, that that's up there. That That's definitely up there at the top of the list, I would say. That's awesome. So I'll wait to reveal mine. I'm sure I've I know I have one. I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, okay, Kevin, we gotta like try to. It's tiny bomb. Energy. I've never had. Yeah, no, we gotta sorry. have like a long list of shit we haven't. Done. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm, 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 no, I can't uh, wait. I can't. So we're the plan. Yeah, the plan is next Wednesday. Uh, for eight, we're planning on an eight a eight thirty ish time. But uh, if you connect, follow uh, Madison Growler, Sweet Entertainment and the beer fest on social media and you can keep up with with what because we're I mean, we, you know who knows we might it's a new show so we might play around with what time and what it works best for for everything but next week at 8 30 we're gonna roll at it again and and taylor's gonna pick out a beer that is available 
Ed Cash Saver for us to, to, to drink and talk about with, with a guest to be announced. Yeah. So, uh, and it may not okay. always be a, a brewery person, may just be a, may be a Memphis person that, you know, somebody that, that we want to, that likes beer, wants to chat about beer. So, um, so yeah. Awesome. And, and, and one more thank you before we get out of here. Like, thank you for the, for the folks who attended, all the festival goers oh, yeah, man. Uh, that, uh, that bought a ticket and, and said, hey, we're going to go to a virtual festival. Like, who would have thought, you know, a year ago? Uh, that's like, oh, we're buying tickets to a, a virtual fest. You just think of people like wearing the goggles and like, ooh. <laughs> like, that's not what it is. But, um, but Clyde, I'm glad you got into the, I'm glad, I'm glad you got into the Zoom here. Yeah, cool. Thanks. And, and when, we, when yeah, we have it back, we'll find out go, what your white will vote. is. I went, I went and voted earlier. So go vote. How, how, long, how long was the wait for to vote? For us, it was about an hour and 15 minutes. People, people trying to get in, man. People trying to get in, go vote. But early voting yeah. started today. Hey, you have, ACDC you have, said it the best. Stand up and be counted. Stand up and be counted. Now that's, I'm, I'm glad because Clyde was like, you were in line pretty late tonight about whether or not you would be able to make it here or not was in question. Yeah. Well, hey, Long hey, lines I, I, to if, vote. If, if you, if you had missed this because you were voting, uh, that that's, that's an okay pass. I think that's yeah, perfect, right, right. perfectly right. acceptable. Are you, are you, I don't think you're allowed to zoom from the polling location. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's definitely not an okay thing to do. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Clyde. Go Clyde, go. Wise, Clyde what, uh, before you get out of here, just go ahead and shout out what do people need to look for for Wiseacre right now? Obviously, Tacky, Tacky's on the shelf, so if you enjoy Tacky at the festival, yeah, you can pick yeah, it up. So, yeah, so I would say Tacky because it's, uh, it's super fresh, super good. Um, you know, we, we actually uh, canned it the week of the festival, so it's like super fresh. Um, and then I would also say uh, our new seasonal uh, or our next seasonal – is uh it, we're bringing back starless again um awesome. so that's super good it's a it's a uh a schwarz beer or a schwartz beer however you want to say it but it's a black lager uh roasty toasty super clean awesome beer so those are the two things to look out for us and also drink some tiny bomb because it's awesome i know the flagship beer of wiseacre brewing company and then 773 at the cash saver 869 at high point there, go, go grab some Drink it's a it. steal it. steal it's a steal yes. i'm giving it away i'm literally i'm giving it away giving it away love uh, it, love it. Ma madison growler shop uh located uh madison growler shop located inside of cash saver madison of course high point grocery now uh taylor's running the beer selection over in the wine i saw the wine is, is stocked yeah man we got we got wine now too so yeah running beer running wine over there i mean Try to take care of the store, but I, you know, I, I, I hang out in the beer and wine a lot. That's where I like to be. Those, those are the kind of people I like to talk to. So, yeah, we got, um, so yeah, you know, hey, if you're, if you're out east and, you know, yeah, pop over there real quick. It's never too busy. Uh, get, get in, get out real quick. Uh, come see us. Come say hey. So, always a good time. Awesome. To and then grab some pizza from High Point Pizza because it's delicious. It is, some, it is some good pizza. All right, Clyde, thank you for, for, for joining yep. us here for, for our uh, recap uh, nightcap. Thanks, and, uh, Taylor, I'll talk to I'll talk to you again here here next week. So yeah, we'll probably talk tomorrow, Kevin. We talk like pretty much every day now. We do so, talk a lot. Well, it's what we do now. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll talk come to you out, tomorrow. Come out to, come out to Bartlett. We'll we'll share some beer together. Come on. I'm I'm, I'm down. I'm down. We we just have to drink, smash beers, and uh, listen to heavy metal music. That's all I want to do. So. Hey. Hey, uh, I got Clyde. A, I got a little Utopias left. If you want to try that. Okay. We want to talk about white whales. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that I'm one? In. I'm in. Kevin, you don't even know. Kevin, you don't even know. This, have you this, have you had it? No, this is like S tier. You know what I'm. You know this is like in the S tier. Okay, this is. This and he's is got it in Bartlett right now. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Right in your keys. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Clyde. Thanks, y'all. All right. Thanks, everybody. Cheers, everybody.